my yes very good morning uh, hope you understood that uh, last uh, supplementary reader uh, unit 5 that is the singing lesson by uh, catherine mansfield uh, hope you have understood the supplementary reader and today <clears throat> we will move on to uh, another topic that is the sixth unit and the last course of this uh, book okay fine so let me introduce uh, uh, a certain aspects in the life which happens every day take for example all of us may have uh, some ideas some ambition we are working for something okay fine so if you want to do a work if you want to carry a task definitely all of us we will perform that task perfectly right so all of us will expect the work should come out well if you do any work definitely we will do you, you, what you will think you will you want to do that work perfectly sometimes the perfection may goes wrong too much of perfection that goes wrong stupidity same way here the story narrates such a kind of uh, thing too much of perfection goes wrong it's knowingly or unknowingly for certain people <coughs> they will try to do a work perfectly but knowingly or unknowingly it will goes at a flop so this uh, prose deals with the same idea a man right his name is bill brison his name is bill brison he is one among the such a kind of characters one among the such kind of characters so what is the uniqueness or what is the thing about uh, this author brill brison that we are going to see in this story right it is something like a story so i'll narrate what are the things are there in the prose so listen carefully so that you can understand the things okay fine children so before going to that uh, <coughs> prose let me give a brief intro about the author brill brison he is the author of this prose that is the accidental tourist what is the topic of this uh, prose that is the accidental tourist by brill brison so <clears throat> what is the thing about this fellow is he is born in <clears throat> though he born in uh, united states but <clears throat> he lived uh, most of his time in uk and he is one among the persons who hold uh, two citizenships that is united states of america and uh, united kingdom that is england and he served as a chancellor for doha university so that is all about uh, the author that is bill brison so let's move on to the prose okay fine children so listen carefully so that you can uh, uh, you can you can able to uh, gather grasp grasp the, uh, the the main aspects of this uh, narration fine <clears throat> okay so if you see some people as i told you already they want to do their works perfectly yes sir no suppose check for example if we want if you are studying definitely what you are what you what you will think i should get i should hold or i should take the first mark so in such a way our preparation may goes i take for example if i want to do a work definitely i'll expect some perfection so that the result will come extraordinarily same way here the author the brill brison what he shares about uh, his own personal things that happen in his life so this is something like an autobiography it comes under the genre of autobiography so you have to know the meaning or you have to know the differentiation between the biography as well as the autobiography so what is the meaning of biography take for example if i am writing about your life that is said to be biography suppose if i am writing about my own history that is said to be autobiography so this comes under something like autobiography he has shared his experience that what happened in his life so that is the uh, story or narration that he is shared in this 
uh, lesson <coughs> the prose uh, he has given lot of uh, examples among that a few examples he gave that is very interesting so when i read this story i really enjoyed right it is something it's something uh, equals to our life sometimes our life or sometimes or the way that we walk the way that we uh, i mean we we walk in the life of the journey many a times we come across same situation we may we will just go but unknowingly or knowingly some problem comes to our life that will that will that that, that will just disturb our life same thing but here it happens just something like a comical right so really i think uh, i think you will enjoy this one so listen carefully children so that you can uh, you can you can you can you can walk in this you can you can you can uh, learn lot of things in this uh, uh, thing uh, I, you can you can match with uh, your uh, uh, been uh, experience also over here by listening to this uh, uh, prose okay fine so let's move on to the story in many occasions we may come across certain people right the way they behave definitely we will be attracted towards it the way they walk the way they speak the way the way they behave with the others right it will attract us definitely we will also you know unknowingly we will we will we will be attracted towards it same time the same situation we may see just opposite to this situations take for example in some situation we may come across some people the way they behave that will looks awkward the way they speak the way they walk the way they behave with the others right manners manners matters a lot as a uh, i mean my professor he taught me manners matters a lot so manners speaks in certain situations am i right manners speaks in certain situations how we are in the society that will judge who we are who we are same way uh, this story <clears throat> the narration the author is shared in what are the circumstances he became an awkward person in front of others that's what uh, he has uh, shared in this uh, uh, <coughs> lesson this story right so once upon a time <clears throat> he has he has listed some few examples so that is the prose for your uh, i think right uh, I, I'll, i'll tell you one by one what are the uh, situations he came across uh, he felt so awkward about himself he felt very shame about himself right that may look uh, for him uh, it may look uh, something like a shame but uh, when you read this text uh, definitely you will you will enjoy in how he ha- how he come across such kind of uh, hard times and that will make you uh, to laugh at this hello hmm? okay fine so i'll just tell you one by one what are the hard times uh, he came across okay fine so <clears throat> once upon a time uh, this fellow this uh, brill brazen used to travel along in air that means flight uh, you take for example if you people buy a lot of vegetables or buy a lot of uh, i mean groceries in a shop they'll give you a customer card so that you can often go to the shop and you can buy a lot of things and you'll get some uh, you know some credits you can get it so with the help of the credits you can you can you can avail the credits and you can get some reduction in the amount right i, I think you would have understood customer card such a way they used to give same way here this fellow used to travel uh, travel a lot in uh, uh, air right in flight so he got uh, such a kind of card he got such a kind of card so once this fellow he was traveling by air and he landed in uk where he landed he landed in uk fine so this fellow along with uh, his family members they were traveling to england <clears throat> they were able to uh, i mean uh, uh, they have to land uh, in uh, uh, in logan airport in boston logan airport in boston so after they uh, landed there and this fellow he was about to take the card where i mean that card he kept that card in the bag which was hung around on his shoulder i mean hung around his neck he was he kept the card right 
in a bag which was hanging right over his neck he kept here over here so in the check in he was about to take the card from the bag and he was started to open the zip finally what happened you know he was about to open something got struck and he was about to open the zip of the bag he was trying trying keep on trying he couldn't so with a much force he just opened that one suddenly what happened the zip got uh, flew away so the bag opened abruptly so what are the things which is there inside the bag it is splatter like anything and spread about for a tennis court you know what what you know how much how long the tennis court will be so that much force right it um, force uh, when he was opened the bag so all the things he kept inside the bag was just a splatter you know it is an airport so lot of people suddenly turn to the sound some splash sound you know take for example if you drop a coin on a tile you know what sound you will get same way take for example if it is a mess hall a very big mess hall if you drop your plate eating plate if you drop it you know what kind of noise you will get definitely everyone will look at you same way what happened when the when the when he about to open the zip of the bag it just came out so what are things he kept inside the bag it got splattered so everyone looked at him he felt so awkward he felt so shame but actually he wanted to do the job clearly he wanted to do the job very neatly but what happened right that incident became an awkward situation for that fellow right so what are things he kept in the bag that is his tobacco pipe lot of magazines lot of uh, small paper cuttings and uh, uh, coins english money so everything it was splattered over about to a tennis court that much uh, you know force he he, he just uh, kept while he was opening the zip of the bag so everyone looked at them and the people those who came with him the family members right his wife she felt so awkward what this fellow right so everyone is looking at us everyone is looking at us right what this fellow is behaving he is behaving such a like a stupid fellow he is behaving so her wife his wife she got much tensed she didn't uh, show any pathetic towards uh, him rather she felt so angry on him right so uh, this is uh, one uh, incident so actually what i want to say is what the author wants to say is he wanted to open the bag very politely but what happened at the time it was not working properly so he gave much his force to open it so that one made him an awkward situation there this is the first example okay fine so like this uh, a second incident where it is is same way he was traveling in a, a flight and uh, i think you might have uh, if you have traveled in a uh, i mean um, a coach bus right a semi sleeper bus semi sleeper not sleeper semi sleeper bus or ultra deluxe bus right or kpn something uh, kpn uh, barbin travels like this uh, i think you, would, you uh, there is an uh, facility you can you can stretch the seat to the backwards like this right take for example you can stretch the seat backward like this reclined that position we call it as reclined position so what happened this fellow he was about he was sitting in the flight he was about to tie the lace of his shoe and he and he was he was he just slightly he bent his body to tie the lace of the shoe at the time what happened the man who is sitting in front of him he reclined the seat so he got stuck in that and he was unable to come up come from that and somehow he adjusted he just disturbed the nearby persons like this like this like this like this water finally he came from that a situation so that also uh, he shared uh, in this uh, prose right so he did it uh, accidentally he did it just like that but uh, because of other person he was uh, complete disturbed right so this is the uh, second uh, incident uh, uh, he came across uh, 
uh, uh, that uh, in that one he felt uh, uh, so awkward because he was unable to move from that uh, situation that position right when he was about to right sit properly at that time the man who is, uh, sat in front of him he reclined the seat so he was his, his legs and moreover his uh, hands they got stuck uh, completely stuck uh, right so this with the third one and uh, this example is a uh, little bit uh, you know uh, funny <clears throat> so once upon a time he was traveling in a flight see all the previous uh, incident uh, that happened in the flight so he was traveling in the flight and uh, took his uh, unexpected uh, uh, surprise you know unexpectedly what happened a beautiful uh, lady she came and sat near by him right so what happened <clears throat> this fellow he was so happy because what a beautiful lady was sitting nearby so this man he started to talk to her he started to talk to her as we do know right fine she started uh, that uh, this uh, bill prison he started to talk to her you know what he did sometimes when we listen our class you know in what position we may sit sometimes like this we used to sit sometimes like this we used to sit sometimes we may keep our pen inside our mouth we may keep our pencil inside our mouth and we used to bite it same way here what happened unknowingly this fellow he kept his blue ink pen on his mouth and he started to talk to him talk to her right so he was talking 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 for some minutes and he completely forgot that he kept the ink pen on his mouth and suddenly what happened he felt something disturbed and he went to to the restroom in the flight so he was about to open the restroom and there uh, was a surprise was waiting after uh, it right uh, after he opened the restroom he looked at uh, his face right on the mirror it was he was completely shocked you know why the pen got leaked his lips his gums his teeth uh -huh, and his tongue so this part is completely full of blue in color he felt so shame he felt so awkward it is a flight it is not a bus journey or train journey it is a flight journey so he was completely abrupt with that so when he came out of from that uh, you know uh, he couldn't express uh, that the situation he was unable to express such kind of situation you know you just think about it suppose if you are uh, if you if you go to an interview right and if you do like this when you are biting if you are biting the pen like this and the interview will appear if you open it what will happen same way this fellow also right he felt so ashamed about uh, himself right after that so wherever he goes he never used to keep the pen on his mouth right and uh, he has given lot of examples take for example if he wants to have uh, i mean uh, if he wants to eat whether it is a dinner breakfast or lunch in a dining table when he was about to get up from the table from the chair he'll be very careful because sometimes he used to pull everything right he will used to pull everything that i mean the cloth so if the cloth if he puts the cloth different to what uh, what are things there on the table will get spoiled so that he will uh, his, his his pants shirt everything will get dirt so whenever he used to uh, whenever he is go whenever whenever he goes for food he'll be very 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 cautious or if uh, sometimes uh, if uh, he's if, suppose if he uh, travels in the plane along with his family members and uh, if, uh, when he was able to open i mean a cool drink his mother sorry her uh, wife uh, his wife uh, used to inform the children hey be careful your father is going to open the lid so he may spill so be careful in such a way she used to say but he wanted to do all the things perfectly but unknowingly you know in opposite everything will happen for this fellow so if he if he goes by a car suppose he wanted to go by a car and when he closes the door 14 inches of his coat will be outside of the car right and if he wants to sit uh, in a public place he may sat right sometimes he may he used to sat uh, on a dirt so that his pan color may get changed sometimes 
<laughs> he may sit on a bubble gum so that you know you know how when you when you when you when you when you have the bubble gum right uh, or fix it over here when you start to move from this what will happen you, you can see something over here same way that will be there on his pant so sometimes he used to sit like this he used to keep his uh, hands uh, and on that he used to sit so a lot of time uh, uh, he has uh, come across uh, uh, such a kind of uh, awkward situations right so every time he will be very cautious but unknowingly these things happens to him so uh, these are the things uh, uh, he has uh, given and the final thing what he has uh, started is uh, uh, he used to uh, travel uh, lakhs and kilometers in air every year so uh, there is uh, a limitation uh, there is a thing called uh, if you try if you cross this much of miles uh, by flying in the airplane you may get a concession same way this fellow he has a lot of time he used to travel a lot of uh, kilometers in there but not even a single time he got the concession sometimes he may forget uh, uh, to show the concession card or sometimes you know the spelling on the card as well as the ticket may ticket may goes wrong so a lot of factors that uh, you know uh, makes him uh, to 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 get the uh, concession uh, you know to are able to get the concession so these are things uh, which he had uh, felt uh, that thing became an awkward situation for this fellow okay so the final one is there and that i'll tell you okay fine so listen it carefully my dear sir Uh, he wanted to travel to the place called bali it is there in indonesia it's a beautiful place right something like uh, 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 malaysia singapore like right? it's something like uh, uh, an island beautiful place bali it is there in indonesia so a lot of people a lot of uh, air travelers they lose their concession right and they wanted to f- go to that place in first class in first class so this fellow he also had a dream to go to that bali in the first class by using the concession and take for example this fellow he has traveled nearly i mean i mean 1 lakh kilometers every year used to travel but he got only 212 miles concession only he got only 212 miles alone concession he got what is the reason behind it you know though he ca- traveled 1 lakh kilometers but he got just 212 miles concession only because he traveled in 23 different airlines suppose if he traveled in the same airlines definitely would have got the concession much more he, i think he, he he might have traveled to that bali in first class right but he traveled in since he traveled in 23 different airlines right the concession was cancelled for him though he traveled for 1 lakh kilometer but there is no use because he traveled in different uh, airlines 23 different airlines so for him he didn't uh, get the concession and the last incident uh, he gave it is so once upon a time he traveled uh, to australia it was a long uh, journey and he has uh, given the word called a zillion i think we had have uh, known about a million billion trillion what this word what the word he has used is zillion right it is i think it is more than that billion trillion it might be so uh, when he was in the check in place he produced his uh, concession card so the authority they got the card and they were checking very keenly sign finally they said you are uh, you can't get the concession this fellow he got afraid this fellow he got so shocked why i travel such a long kilometers why you people are not giving the concession and the authority the flying uh, i mean the airport authority they gave him the answer right the card your ticket name it is okay fine your ticket name is b brisson but your card name is w brisson so the only a single letter it is it is changed b brisson in the ticket but w brisson is there in the your card so this is two different persons so we can't give you the concession he was so anxious about it he was trying to explain right uh, his name william magwer brilson but those people they didn't accept uh, his explanation and finally he got so uh, he was so anxious about uh, uh, that one <coughs> so what is this uh, lesson is all about it is 
sometimes we may also come across such kind of situation we will do our work perfectly somewhere at some point we may come across certain disturbance like this so that our uh, our our travel may get disturbed how he got disturbed right same way our journey also may get disturbed knowingly or unknowingly maybe from ourselves or from any other persons or things may our travel may get disturbed so after that what this fellow he said bill brisson he said so whenever he travels in the air he never keep his pen on his mouth he never eat or he whenever he used to sit he will check the place once thrice and thrice clearly and then he will sit on the i mean uh, that on the place so uh, till now this fellow what he said is till now the dream to bali in first first class it is not uh, uh, you know he didn't uh, uh, have such a kind of dream right he was still it is a dream he didn't achieve that one still uh, it is a dream for him to travel to bali in first class but uh, ha alas he couldn't right so uh, these are the things uh, he has shared in this uh, uh, lesson so hope you would uh, understood the uh, i mean the uh, i mean the point by point of the things so uh, my dear children uh, if at all if you have any doubt or oh, just uh, uh, just put me a word or text me so that i can rectify doubts see after uh, listening to the class you just take the page read line by line so that you can understand the first incident is you know what is the first incident right in the airport the bag zip right zip okay fine and the second incident is what it is the shoelace right and the third incident is the lady right his uh, the pen right and fourth one is a lot of things he has given right and finally that uh, uh, what is it called uh, that place to bali it was finally alas right and the last thing it is the travel to australia that uh, change in the letters that made him an anxiety so these are things he has listed out and uh, till now it is a dream for him to travel to bali but it is vain okay chin fine okay fine children so hope you understood the lesson uh, uh, be safe uh, see you in the next uh, poem okay fine until then take care bye bye